three named tropical systems, none of which are eyeing southeast Louisiana. Fred moving inland, going to be a big rainmaker. We have Grace that again will be worth keeping an eye on as it does look like it'll threaten the southern Gulf, but staying well to our south end. Henri will remain out over the open water, possibly threatening Bermuda over the next several days. So let's take them one at a time and we'll start with Fred, which as I mentioned, has already made landfall around 215 this morning and basically right about where the computer models and the Hurricane Center had been saying over the past six days this isn't going back to when it was a potential tropical cyclone south of Puerto Rico. Now it was a little bit more west of there, but again, it's very good for the computer models and the Hurricane Center's forecast. Moving inland now with heavy rainfall, now the big threat as the winds will be diminishing. And thankfully, the storm surge wasn't too great, at least some of the images I've seen, certainly some high water, but nothing that folks in coastal Florida cannot handle. You're also notice some of the brighter cloud tops of the stronger storms are now more on the northern side of the center, and that will continue to plague now folks across Georgia and the Carolinas, Virginia, and even up the east coast with some very heavy rainfall, basically right along and just to the east of the track as it moves northward. As far as we go, we benefited, and you hate to say you benefit, from anything that is giving folks uh, more of a rough time. But on the drier side, we actually had a northerly flow, and that's what kept us under mostly sunny skies all day today with very few showers. Tropical depression grace remains fairly unorganized, at least in terms of that low level circulation, which at the moment is being ripped apart by the very mountainous southeastern Haiti, which again, you don't want to see that. This is the same area that dealt with Fred as well as the earthquake late last week and the, or this weekend. Now the track keeps it kind of moving generally due west, making landfall across the Yucatan or maybe just to the north of Yucatan and then continuing into central Mexico, maybe around Tampico as possibly a category one hurricane. As we've been mentioning, the forecast track really has been fairly steady even as of last Friday. If you remember, we were talking about in her newscast the track that was being early projected by some of the computer models and some of the models had it turning up the east coast of Florida. If you remember back that far, I was talking about this ridge of high pressure that would start to build in and kind of question how any storm could turn into it. I said it was more likely that it would make its way into the Gulf of Mexico, and that looks like what will happen. And as long as this ridge stays strong over the northern Gulf, storm can't turn into it, so it's just going to keep on moving west and this high is actually going to lead to us having some fairly hot but dry conditions as we head toward the end of the week and weekend. And then here is Tropical Storm Ahri at the moment, not doing much. It's going to just kind of meander. This is St. George, this is Bermuda, but it looks like it's going to really just kind of sit as eventually we'll see an upper trough come off the east coast and that will eventually take the storm out over the open waters. Does not look like it'll be threatening land at all. 